so welcome to another video everyone so in this video I'm going to show you how to connect a potentiometer with the Arduino so we are going to use the analog input to read the value of the preset as an analog value all right so this is a 1k preset or a 1k potentiometer and the marking is 102 so as you can see there are two pins here and one pin on the other side so these two pins are used to connect with the power source one of the pin will be connected to the uh, positive of the power source and the other will be connected to the ground and this is the pin from where we are going to read our input values all right so let me quickly connect it to the Arduino all right so I have taken a jumper cable so these this side of the header will go to the Arduino and these will be connected to the potentiometer all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this uh, red wire and I'm going to connect it to plus 5 volt and I'm going to use this uh, brown wire and I'm going to connect it to the other leg of the potentiometer and this will go to the ground of the Arduino and this orange cable will be our signal or the input value from the potentiometer I'm going to connect it right here so as you can see the connection all right So let me quickly connect it to my Arduino. So I'm going to connect the signal to A0 and I'm going to take the ground and power source from 5 volt. As you can see this right here is the 5 volt and I'm going to use uh, this ground you can also use this ground and I'm going to use this A0 to read the input value all right so let me connect the cable to the A0 all right All right, my red one is the plus five volt. And this is the ground. All right. So these are the connections. It is a pretty simple circuit. All right, so let's begin coding. All right, so I have uh, opened a new sketch. All right, so let us first quickly set up uh, our input pin, which is A0. All right. So the part pin here denotes the potentiometer pin or the input pin. So the pin mode for this part underscore pin will be in. Input pin. All right. 
all right so uh, we have set up the uh, input pin as a0 so we are reading the potentiometer signal from a0 so it is uh, set up here so now what we need to do is we need to read the value all right for that we are going to use the function analog read all right so we are going to read the value from part pin and we are going to assign the result to a variable so we are going to read it uh, we are going to uh, uh, refer to it using read value all right so uh, here i want to uh, like bring up one more concept so we are going to use uh, the tools provided by the arduino ide such as serial monitor for it all right since our board is not connected at the moment we won't be able to use the serial monitor but what i'm going to do is i'm going to read the value and i'm going to uh, use the serial dot print and i'm going to use i'm going to send this right value to the serial one all right so there is one more thing before using this uh, serial print we need to initialize our serial uh, input all right so we need to set up so to initialize our serial monitor what we need to do is serial dot begin and we need to pass a value so i'm using 9600 so what is this value all right so this is called as a baud rate so the serial communication between the arduino and the system or the computer will happen at 9600 bits per second that's why uh, we have chosen 9600 so it is uh, like kind of a standard uh, where we use this value all right so this is known as baud rate and it is uh, like the serial communication happens at this rate so we are going to use this value only all right so uh, this is print method and let me uh, all right so this is the minimum program that we need to test our code all right so let me save it All right, so I'm naming it as an Arduino Nano Analog Read. So you can choose any name. So since I have used the spaces between the names and the Arduino is complaining that it must be a letter or number or followed by num dashes, dots and underscore. So it will uh, automatically verify uh, like automatically change the name to contains underscore in place of space as you can see right here uh, I provided space but it is not taking those spaces because it is not allowed in the sketch name all right so let me quickly connect my Arduino all right so I have connected the Arduino and uh, as you can see I have connected it to compo com3 serial port and i have chosen the processor at mega 328p and old bootloader and the board is set to arduino nano all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to upload the code and then let's see what happens all right So it is compiling sketch at the moment.
it is uploading and it is done uploading all right let me bring up the serial monitor at this moment and let's see what it is showing all right so uh, as you can see that it is reading some value but it is like not clear because there is no delay and the values are printed on the same line all right so let me quickly change it a bit all right serial dot print all right so we are going to pass some uh, string all right and we are going to print it on the new line all right so let's press control plus s and quickly upload it again so it is showing uploading and it is done uploading let's bring out the serial monitor all right so uh, it is reading some value but as you can see that it is reading it very fast all right so uh, we need to provide some delay uh, so that we can read the exact value read the actual value all right so after uh, reading and printing it i'm going to provide some delay let's say we are going to wait for half a second as this value is in milliseconds let's again save it and upload it all right so let's bring the serial monitor so as you can see that the value is uh, not constant it is fluctuating all right so uh, let me try to change the uh, value of the potentiometer and let's see what happens so actually Uh, I think the connections are loose that's why it is uh, reading a floating value all right so as you can see it is uh, coming nearly constant value now so it is in the middle so let me change the value all right so as you can see uh, when I am turning it uh, counterclockwise or you can say towards the positive leg of the potentiometer the value is increasing and let me quickly move it to the max possible value all right so we are getting a different value now all right so uh, let me move it to the other direction and you will see that the value is changing right so there is some uh, value or the minimum value that we can read using this method because it is uh, like kind of a mechanical uh, switch or the mechanical system so we cannot get the exact zero and the exact one not two three value so that's why we are getting some uh, lower threshold value and some upper threshold value all right so this is it for this video so this is the part one of the analog read value so uh, here I have shown you how to use the serial monitor to uh, like read and print any value on the computer system so uh, in the next part of this video I'm going to use this potentiometer value and uh, do something else all right so that's it Thank you very much and let's see you in the next video video and make sure to subscribe my channel.